Recently, I picked up a Pixel 3a for running Ubuntu Touch. The biggest upgrade that this device has over my previous Ubuntu Touch device is that it can run WayDroid. Essentially, WayDroid is a program that lets you run Android in a container on Linux. In this case, I'm using Ubuntu Touch. I decided that the first thing that I wanted to do with this program is test out some games, because really, why not? So, in today's video, that's what we're going to be doing, right now, on the Linux Lounge. Internext is the world's most secure cloud storage provider that offers strong end-to-end -end encryption and modern zero-knowledge protocols. Switch to Internext today. The first game that I decided to try is one of my personal favourites that I've actually quite missed in switching to Linux phones and dumb phones, and that game is Pokemon Go. Sadly, this game wouldn't let me log in using the Google account that I usually use, despite the fact that I actually do have the Google Play services installed. I'm not sure if this would work with another type of account, but sadly, this game is a bit of a failure for my use case, since all of my Pokemon and items and that kind of thing are on that Google account. Next, I decided that I wanted to try a simple 2D platformer, Catbird. This game's great fun, and devoid of the usual in-app purchase nonsense that mobile games typically have. And as you can see, this game works absolutely fine here in WayDroid. I highly recommend this game. After that, I tried a simple 2D puzzle game, Bejeweled Classic. It seemed to work great and was very playable, though I think there are already some fairly similar games available for Ubuntu Touch natively, so I don't really see the point in running this game in WayDroid, I just wanted to see if it would work. Okay, so I had an audio file recorded where I said that Temple Run didn't work, because when I tried it, it didn't, but... I went back to capture some gameplay footage, and what do you know, it seemed to be working pretty well. The only problem is that the game was totally unplayable because the tilt controls didn't work, but that's still more than the buggy mess that I had last time. Really just goes to show that sometimes these things can be a little bit flaky. Finally, I decided to try another 3D game that's known to work in WayDroid, Subway Surfers. Sure enough, it loaded and seemed to run absolutely fine, which, although that might not seem too impressive since this is quite an old title, I assure you that it absolutely is. A containerized version of Android running a 3D game on Ubuntu Touch really just kind of blows my mind, and this is definitely a game to try if you have WayDroid installed yourself. With that said though, those are all the tests that I did. Overall, I think that WayDroid is a seriously impressive project that remedies the lack of apps available on Linux phones, although I would say that beyond a few titles that happen to work, this isn't really something that's ready for gaming just yet, or even ready for non-tech savvy users really. But, what we already have here is extremely impressive, and I'm sure, given enough development time, we'll have something that's truly capable of gaming. But with that said, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.